Paris, Rome, Milan. Cities which conjure up a romantic image for St Valentine's Day. But it's actually the Gorbals in Glasgow, which is one of the most romantic cities in the world. So, what is so romantic about the Gorbals? Well, inside the Church of Blessed John Duns Scotus lies the answer. Let's find out. It's very interesting. In fact, you could even walk just past it. But in this church lies the remains of one of the most famous saints there has ever been. At the entrance of the church, we find a gilded casket containing the bones of St Valentine, the Roman martyr. St Valentine was born north of Rome and served as a much-loved priest. He was arrested by Claudius II for marrying Christian couples and died a martyr for refusing to renounce his faith, being beheaded on the 14th of February in the year 269. It was in 1868 when a wealthy French family donated a small box containing the relics to the Church of St Francis here in the Gorbals. Inscribed on the box is written Corpus Santi Valentini Martyris, the body of St Valentine Martyr. But it wasn't until 1999 where the remains were rediscovered and placed in this wonderful glass display at the Church of Blessed John Dan Scotus, also in the Gorbals. Uh, it's really nice to have this here. It just makes it that extra bit special, and especially coming here for Mass and St Valentine's Day. It's like going to a funeral, really, because his remains are here. So it does make it special. It is, so it just, it's a good feeling coming here. Every 14th of February, the Franciscan priests based here decorate the statue of St Valentine with flowers and candles because in recent years it's become a popular hotspot for young couples to come and propose before this, the patron saint of lovers. <laughs>